Many people ask, you know, what is the most realistic way we can bridge the gap between science and spirituality? And we're seeing a lot of ideas coming together in this modern world. A lot of perspectives are, are being exposed to one another and we're seeing more and more. And yet you still run into this idea that that it's two separate worlds. You know, people say, oh, I, I put on my science hat or I put on my spiritual hat. I hear that a lot in talking to people around um, healing work, psychedelic healing work, even uh, people exploring shamanic traditions. And they still they still separate these two realms. And so I think the way that we can close the gap is through learning about healing, you know, through healing of an individual, actually studying somebody, a person, you know, we learn more about the intersection between, as I like to put it, you know, spirituality, emotion, and biology. You know, where does spiritual well-being make the difference? If we watch how uh, someone's healing process happens, where perhaps a spiritual healing process guides uh, a healing that affects them emotionally, that affects them mentally, that affects them physically, then we begin to learn about where does the spirit touch the flesh. So in my upcoming seven week course, you know, I present cases of people that I discuss it in my book, The Fellowship of the River, that improve with Amazonian spiritual healing techniques. Uh, we look at the different perspectives from the shamanic side. You know, what did the traditional healers say about that person's healing course? From the medical side, myself as a doctor observing, what did the doctor say? What did the psychologist say? What did the Western perspective say about this person's journey? And then now the patient, what did the patient say about what happened to them and how it was that they they got better and they improved so as we examine these cases we see the commonalities you know we see where emotional trauma disturbs the physiology the way the body's working the emotional biology you could say and we see where spiritual healing techniques and improvement in spiritual well-being can help to facilitate the healing of the of that trauma and restore the biology back to a more whole state so it's through watching someone's healing, I think, through us, our experience of life and our own healing process, that we can learn about where science and spirituality come together. So I hope you'll come and join us with the course and learn more about all this exciting intersection of knowledge and wisdom.